In this clip, we're going to extend what we know about thirds by looking at what happens when we multiply two thirds, like this one, root 5 times root 3. Well, the rule says we can put them both under the same square root sign, root 5 times 3. In other words, we can rewrite uh, root 5 times root 3 is just root 15. So, in general, the rule is that if you've got root A times root B, is just root AB, and that's a rule that needs to be remembered. Uh, also, you can do it the other way. If you've got a number, but a number which can be split into parts, uh, root 15 becomes root 5 times 3. We can then split the square roots into two square roots, root 5 times root 3. And that's the same rule the other way around. Root AB equals root A times root B, and once again it ought to be remembered. Now, both of those rules come in uh, when we're doing things like we're going to be doing now, which is to see if we can rewrite root 12 in a different way. Well, root 12 is root 4 times 3. We split the two square roots into root 4 times root 3. But root 4 is simply, it's a square number, so 4 is a square number, so root 4 is simply 2, so that's 2 times root 3, which we'd write more simply as 2 root 3. And we say that this is root 12 in simplified form, because what we've done is we've taken this 4 outside the square root and called it 2. So this is, if you're asked to simplify root 12, this is what your answer should be. Let's look at a, another example. Root 50, well, root 50 is root 25 times 2. 25 is the square number, so that uh, enables us, when we split the square roots, to write root 25 as 5. So root 50 is the same as 5 root 2, and that's the simplified form. Another quick example, root 72 is root 36 times 2, which is root 36 times root 2, which is 6 times root 2, 6 root 2. That's also in simplified form. Now, what about root 12 times root 3? Can we simplify that? Well, let's use the rule the other way around and actually multiply them together and call that root 12 times 3, which is root 36, which is 6. Now that's very definitely a simplification. Root 12 times root 3 just ends up as being 6. Now, in general, when you're adding two thirds, uh, you can't simplify them. That can't be simplified. Uh, neither can that. However, sometimes there is something you can do, and it starts off with simplifying the bits of it. Now, root 2 can't be simplified but root 8 can. So let's see what happens when we do that. Root 8 is root 4 times 2, uh, which becomes 2 root 2 when we take the 4 outside. Now 2 root 2 plus 1 root 2 is 3 root 2. So this can be simplified to that. Here's another example using the same kind of simplification, this time with a, a minus sign between the two. Root 75 can be written as root 25 times 3, and root 27 can be written as root 9 times 3. Now, 25 and 9 are square numbers. We can square root them and take them outside the bracket. So we get 5 root 3 minus 3 root 3. And that simplifies to 2 root 3.